My feet hurt. <laughs> Don't you talk to me about your feet hurt. My feet hurt. Because you know when you're 50 and you've birthed five kids, I'd like to see you do this fast, fast, fast again and again. Hi everyone, it's Clay, and welcome back to another episode of This Versus That. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what it's like to learn a dance routine as an older dancer versus as a younger dancer. But first, if you like what you see today, please hit that like button, it really helps us out. And also, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because we've got more awesome dance content coming at you every single week. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Eva Chavaria, aka Popcorn, and I've danced with Get Down District in the lab, and I'm currently dancing with Culture Shack LA. I'm 14 years old, and I've been dancing for eight years now. Hi, my name is Soda Percy. I am 49 years old. I have been dancing for 46 years. Combo. We're a movie combo, <laughs> so I hope this dance was like a movie to you. Yeah. I have not had a dance class since she was four years old. <laughs> The class you guys are going to be taking today is a class by Michael Wilson called Save Room for Us. Michael's very, he's very bouncy, very big dancer. So sure it'll be a good time. Just save room for us. Hey. Just save room for us. Somewhere. Just save room for us. And you're dancing with your mom. How you feel dancing with your mom? Soda and popcorn. Yeah, Here we go. Ready to go to the movies. It's moving so fast. An old brain cannot move that fast. As you get older, you know, you definitely have a lot more things on your mind. I mean, you know, the older, slow brain. And, and then once the brain gets it, then it has to make sure that the body gets it, that you got the older, slow body. Because you know, when you're 50 and you've birthed five kids, I'd like to see you do this fast, fast, fast again and again. What I really do is I watch the choreographer first, and then I go off to the side and practice doing it my way. I add my own sauce into it. As a younger dancer, you watch it, you get it, you do it. You know, there's not a lot of like, you don't you don't sit there and overanalyze. Because I'd watch a video and I'd do it right away as a kid. Literally, I have to turn my brain off so that I can kind of just get into the fun and the emotion Mm -hmm. part of the dance. Do you want to speed it up a bit? You just, you go. I'm just, I'm doing my thing. Disc is full. Disc space is full. Storage full? Storage full. As I've gotten older, you want to go and take these classes, yeah. but it could be intimidating, you know, for older people. First of all, you don't want to look bad in front of the younger dancer. <laughs> you sit there and you overanalyze, and that's what I'm saying. It's like the brain gets slowed down by all of that. I get a lot more opportunities, maybe than Soda may have had when she was younger. I have Steezy Studios I could learn choreography off from. I could take classes. When I was younger, you had ballet studios. They taught jazz tap. And it was pretty basic. So something like like this Steezy class is cool because we can watch it, mm -hmm. you know, in our house, right? Yeah. I can repeat it. I yeah. can slow it down if I need to. For older dancers, I think like that would be great. Okay, we'll go slower. I like this. This is a nice good tempo, right? Oh yeah, Mama likes it. For me, what I liked about Soda's moving <laughs> was that even if she messed up, she made it look like she didn't mess up. She really just had fun with the piece, which I thought was awesome to do because I'm over here trying to get it all down when she wasn't worried at all. If you make a mistake, own it. Yeah. And it's not a mistake if you're smiling. Is it saucy or salsa? Saucy. My sauce is a little lumpy but it's still sauce. I really liked watching Ava do the dance because it was really cool to watch how she could pick it up real quick. It was inspirational. Thank you. <laughs> One thing I would tell my older self is if you really love dance, keep dancing because it is always there for you and it has always been your passion since day one and you're really great at it. Yeah, so. you are. You make people smile while you do it. Make so. me smile. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something I could tell my younger self, have fun. You remember why you're doing it. You're mm -hmm. doing it because you love it. You have mm -hmm. to enjoy it. Keep it fun and, and keep the passion going. You can never start at the wrong time. You start when you think it's right. Who cares if you're too old? And who cares if you're too young? You go out there and you show your moves. Dance is something that's inside you forever. It starts when you're young, and young can be two, three, 17. But once it, it gets in, in you, it's a passion that just stays with you the rest mm -hmm. of your life. Did it. Ooh. You ready, popcorn? Soda? I'm ready. Let's do this. Just save room for us. Just 
We really hope you enjoyed this video. You can also follow these dancers here on their social media. And also, please comment down below what rendition of this versus that you want to see next. We've done tall versus short. We've done popping versus contemporary. What could be next? I don't know. I don't know. And also, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the effort you go through to watch our videos, but I especially appreciate it if you subscribe.